Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew. Yeah, you read that. You read the title right. Now let's break it down and let's talk about this for a minute. Yes, we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 so that we can further get this point across because it is it's going to be it's going to be a divisive video. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S are definitely keeping 30 FPS alive and well. Now I know what you're going to say if you're one of my Xbox fans, but the Xbox Series S isn't... I, I get that, guys. I get that. I 100% get that. But once you've played a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, it's over 60 frames a second. And I did. I, I had both of these playing. I had both of these playing. I had the one on my Series X and the one on the PC running side by side. And yes, the visuals look... A lot better on the PC version the um, the 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 uh, global illumination the freaking the the tessellation on the trees things just look better and run better on the PC but I'm not this isn't a PC video this isn't oh, the PC is better than the Xbox the games no it's not this is this has to 100% do with the consoles so we have ray tracing now that that is that is essentially a viable option I still think it should be exclusive to PCs. I, I do. The, the the hit that you get just for just for turning on ray tracing on a lot of these games is is substantial. It 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 brings a lot of games, a lot of PCs straight to their knees. Now at 1440p on 3060 Ti, I was more than able to run run the ray tracing, do stuff like that, and, and still get you know a playable frame rate. On the 3080, it it's 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 a much better experience, but Let's just say that for right now, I, I I think they should should move away from ray tracing on consoles unless it's something that they can get it in there and still be above 60 frames a second. You know, like some shadow ray trace shadows, I think are okay on on games like Call of Duty. I mean, you can see the ray trace, you know, like you can see. I I feel like the ray trace shadows will do more for for a game than you know to to make it look better than than any of that the the reflection stuff. The reflection stuff is just too too much too much so um well here here's here's the thing man once these uh once you start seeing games like gotham knights coming out and charging you 70 dollars for 30 frames a second you're gonna get more plague tell requiem that one's probably 100 percent looking at the looking at the specs that you need to run that on a pc that game's probably gonna be 30 frames a second too and that's coming to xbox and and it's gonna be on series x and i mean we can sit here and blame you know, we could sit here and blame the consoles, you know, weak CPUs all you guys want, but they're not. These these CPUs in these consoles are are better than we've ever had before. Developers have been known, uh, have always been known to try to push the visual envelope when it comes to consoles. And PlayStation is no, has no problem doing that. No problem doing that. Look at these guys right here. What do you want, partner? Understand me? Consider this a warning. What you want, by now? You ain't scared nobody. Go on! Get lost! You really shouldn't rile me. Ain't wise. That's it! <laughs> the Otrisco! Ooh, what you want? What you want, buddy? What you want, man? What you want? You guys freaking start talking mean stuff to me, man? What you want? What you want, man? Don't you know I'm a video game guy? I got unlimited stamina and health. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but here's the thing, man. Like, look how smooth this 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 plays. My gosh, man. This this feels so smooth. It feels so amazing that like 30, 6, 30 FPS these days, guys. Oh, you don't you don't understand how jarring it was, you know, to to be playing this on PC and then go straight over to the console version and look at that and and I'm just like, "Wow, man, is it really that big of a difference in gameplay?" Because you guys you guys responded to my last video about the 30 frames a second thing and and I'm like, I'm like, "Wait a minute, guys. Come on, man. Like I I don't understand the uh the like, "Oh no, man, 30 FPS is fine. It's 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 good." And I'm like, "Are are you I, I don't know, man. Like I, many many PC elitists before me have come and said the same thing. And until you actually see this and play it with your own eyes, like there's there's just no getting around that. But come on, man. Like, do we really want to pay 
$70 for 30 frames a second in 2022. I think I think that these consoles, like I still believe these consoles are good, solid mid-tier PCs, like they are, and and I and I do I believe that 1440p is the is the uh, is the is the right resolution for both of these consoles to be able to get you higher settings and and higher frame rate because both of these both of these consoles, all three of them actually. I mean, I would say the Series S is definitely more of a 1080p console now that that I've that I've actually had the time to and money to invest into a PC and and see this with my own eyes, man. Like, I don't care what the digital foundries and all of them guys say or what the what the elitists say when they're trying to talk down on their consoles, man. The consoles are freaking perfectly priced and they're more than adequate for the price that they have. The PlayStation 5, the Series X, and the freaking the the series s like these these consoles are pretty solid for what you get like you have got some pretty decent mid-tier mid-tier quality systems now should we be should we accept 4k resolution at 30 frames a second should we continue to accept that as something that like oh yeah that's just the best they can do because i don't believe that i don't believe that that is the best that these these consoles can do I'm telling you, man, playing this, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 has really opened my eyes a lot to, it, it really has, man. It, it's just, it's opened my eyes to a lot of the, the lies and deceit that we get when we, with, within the console, within the console space. They, they tell us these things, they fill us with these lofty promises to get us to continue to buy these consoles, man, and pay and, and stay in their, and stay in their platform and continue to play them. The biggest thing, I like, I, I, the only console out there that I can really give kudos to right now is Xbox because of Play Anywhere, because of Play Anywhere, like they, they don't keep you trapped in their in their console ecosystem. They're like, yeah, man, like if you want to buy the game from us, if you're on a console now and you decide to buy a PC, like, dude, you get a copy of that game on your PC, you get to play it, and and you get all the benefits and everything from the PC version. You're not you're not locked to to anything. You can you can experience and enjoy that game or that experience the way that the way that PC gamers get to, and it's and it's good. It's nice. Now PlayStation, on the other hand, they are starting to get into the PC, but I would love to see them offer like a play anywhere thing too, because it would be a lot a lot better, a lot better. It would it would show people that yeah, man, like you're not trapped anymore to to the consoles. And, and having to deal with with defeat and disappointment because this this is the first generation that you're gonna deal with that you, you, you've gotten big open world games on this console generation that are 60 frames a second and uh, <laughs> every time you every time you hear 60 Fps on those you're gonna be like yeah 60 and then every time you hear 30 you're gonna you're gonna have that like that sick feeling in the pit of your stomach like I do over Gotham Knights right now. I did. I wanted to cover the game, but I don't want to pay seventy dollars for sixty frames a second, man. And if I do cover it, I'll end up picking up on the PC because what what's the point? Like, I don't want to play that at thirty frames a second. I, I don't want to do that. I mean, it's an open world game. I want above sixty, or I want sixty or above, you know, to play that game because it just it makes the combat better. It makes the combat better. Ooh, look at this. An herb. I'll pick it up. I'll keep that one. Ooh, look at another one. Another piece of, And look how just how much better everything just just kind of folds into this world. I'm telling you, man, like I don't I don't have a problem with, you know, I don't per se have a problem with with 30 frames a second, you know, like I mean but I feel like I feel like this console generation is going to really screw a lot of people up, man, because we are, we, we have now been playing, we have now been playing freaking 60 FPS games on these consoles and it's too jarring, man. It's too jarring to be going back and forth from 30 to 60 and, and playing these experiences. So especially something with the, with the melee combat, it just, it feels so much better with higher frame rates it really does it feels better it looks better the 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 action it just it feels it, it's much better like you can't oh man 
I didn't want to make this video because I'm just rambling now, and and that's serious, man. I'm seriously getting a little bit sick and tired of of these developers and PlayStation 5 and Series S, you know, literally being the bottlenecks this generation. Series X to a certain extent, but like I haven't, I still have yet to find a disappointing experience on my Series X that can be attributed to my Series X. Wow, look at that. Dang. This right here is so incredible, man. Like, if you're an older gamer and you can afford to go PC, man, I would, I would, I would at least start doing some research, you know, because at this point right now, at this point right now in, 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 in this day and age, man, like, look at this. I was, was going to close that gate for him. Gosh, man. Not sure even a new no blur out there in the road, in the dirt, anywhere. It's all freaking texturized all the way out there. That wood looks pretty dang good. You can adjust your field of view. Like, I got my field of view adjusted way out on this game. Like, you can, you can adjust your field of view. And then you can even still do two more farther so that you're walking farther away. Like that's pretty good. Like so now we're starting to see some of that, some of that like weird looking grass in between. But it doesn't look like it doesn't look like that that grass from. It looks a little bit better. Oh man, I don't know. Checking, seeing this game running at high high resolution and high frame rates, man. This is just. This is just something that you want to see. Like, look at this wire, this wagon trail. Hello there, Mister. The way those textures line up, the footprints. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. These, these, the PlayStation Five and Series S might be keeping us locked to 30 frames a second. I understand the whole Series S thing, you know. I mean, it's obviously built for the casuals, you know. 60, 60 is like something that. Uh, with that console, if it gets 60 frames a second, I'm usually like, all right, cool, I got it, yay. But but when, when when we're talking about like PlayStation 5 and Series X running a game at 30 frames a second because of ray tracing or because the developer wanted to put co-op in their game, for, for what, dude? I mean, I, like, like, for what? Why? Why? Why ray tracing? Why? In a game like Batman, it doesn't need ray tracing. You know what I mean? <laughs> that one does not need the ray tracing. They're like, oh man, we gotta try to make our game look as good as Spider-Man. I'm like, no, dude, like, don't worry about what Spider-Man's doing. Worry about what Gotham is doing. You know what I mean? So Man, I'm telling you, dude, PC is ruining me. It really is ruining me. It's turning me snobby. No, well, it's not turning me snobby, but but I do, I get frustrated, man, because that Series X is going to be held back this whole freaking generation because of P PS5 and Series S. And that's that sucks because that that Xbox Series X is is a really nicely built console with a lot of power, with a lot of stuff that that could definitely be it could definitely be a lot better than what it is right now. I mean, gosh, you know how good it is to not have to see the checkerboard anywhere on here just have these beautiful visuals got blood all over me nice. dang this game came out at the same time in 2018 man and it still holds up extremely well right now Wow, I don't know. I don't know. If you like this content, don't forget to like it, subscribe. I'm sorry about my little ramble today. If you, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.